your life. Okay, so we have um, Antoinette and Ariane from University of West London with none other than Dr. Shabarna Bose. Antoinette, who uh, teaches uh, the undergraduate students at the University of West London for hospitality. And Ariane um, is the postgraduate professor as well as, well as food and beverage, right? And um, we have a lovely evening and a little chat with Dr. Bose. And Dr. Bose, I'll leave it to you to chat yes, with Yes, thank you very much, Ritu. And there we are. I mean, first of all, welcome to this very, very small uh, talk show on the Facebook and Instagram. And welcome to India. Welcome to Kolkata, the city of joy. And welcome to IIHM. So, thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's quite a nice time because they're meeting. And when uh, the IIHM and UWL collaboration had just about kicked off, and this is possibly the first academic visit from UWL uh, for the students of the year three of the international hotel management. So how are you feeling? You have been teaching for the last two, three days. So what do, you, what do you think about our year three students and what's your first reactions like, Arya? I think the, the, the students are extremely uh, interested in the course. I think they're very well prepared to come onto the course with us. They've already spent two years, obviously, studying uh, the uh, IHM diploma. They have a lot of knowledge, possibly more than myself on certain subjects. So they're very confident um, and I think they're really, really keen to start and I think they'll do very well this year. And this will be our, our first uh, collaboration on in this campus, of course, as you know. And we're very much looking forward to a successful academic year. And what do you think about your well, teaching I, experience? I certainly uh, to say that, but I think what's been lovely is that they've uh, adapted to our way of learning a little bit. They've been very participative in our few classes we've had so far, but lovely to get responses, participation, which is a good sign, and um, certainly asking questions, which we're always very happy to hear. And uh, so I'm, I'm very positive about this coming year. Excellent. So, uh, so, so which, which, which is good news for all of us, actually. And uh, obviously, as we all know, that IHM and UWL uh, collaboration gets back now almost 40 years when it was Health Valley University. And we used to have sent a lot of students on Arctic Connection routes uh, on the year three and year four. And then obviously, we have got four campuses already working with the UWL and the three new campuses uh, this year, I think two of IHM and uh, two four new campuses this year. So, so obviously, it's been a very, very exciting time because we start globalization as with our international is to hotel management. Our aim is always to internationalize our education. And uh, one of the reasons that we really work very closely with University of West London is that globalization aspect where our students get a global education, a global knowledge about hospitality. So obviously, you, you all have been uh, all over the world. I know you are from USA uh, and then you were in UK. So you are an ex absolutely a global person, a global fact. I must say, so it is, it's, it's a great, so, so what do you think about this hospitality industry doing uh, in Europe, since you are in London, based in the University of London, you are staying in London, and obviously Brexit, etc. a lot of things happening. So what is the global hospitality industry looking like, not just in Europe, but generally over the world? Well, I think the hospitality industry is, is will never cease. It's one of the oldest industries in the world. Uh, people have been, you know, involved in hospitality. Um, but there are lots of opportunities of new restaurants that are opening. Uh, and, and I think the, the students, I mean, I was talking to the students today. I was saying, perhaps you'll go work on the space station because the next step is <laughs> on the moon or something. They'll, they'll build a hotel. So I, I really think that the hospitality industry will continue to expand. Uh, we're seeing a lot of hotel chains that are coming and, and, and coming together. Uh, we've, we've seen Marriott and Starwood and things like that. So we're now working with big global groups. So of course, if we train our students to have this global vision of hospitality, the hotel chains that will employ them will look for the skills that they have and, and you know be ready to, to take them on board. Yeah, yeah, I fully agree with you. Maybe we have to write a mail to Elon Musk to open one uh, global hospitality mm -hmm. global mm -hmm. kind yeah. of thing. Uh, so, so, um, you have been in education for a very long time now, and obviously you have been coming to India for the last few years as well, teaching our students in uh, different campuses. And uh, so, so what do you think of the globalized vision of hospitality education? Where we train the students better in uh, India, China, Middle East, or in U UAE, where you have got a uh, campus in Indonesia, and in your own mother campus in London, in the UAE. So, 
I mean, uh, what, what do you think about this idea about that global education where they can actually work? Absolutely critical to have the, the global, because as you said, we've got all the global, global hotels. And I think uh, the, 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 the main thing is that as much as these great hotels are opening, lots of different experiences at the end of the day, it's the people that make the difference. And it's something we've been talking about even to this morning with the students. And uh, therefore, you know, to have the competition between all the global hotels, one needs the best people. And therefore, those who take the opportunity to study hospitality, uh, particularly globally and together, because, um, you know, London's very cosmopolitan. Uh, many of your students have spent time not just in India, but abroad as well when they do their industrial training. So it all builds their, their skills and therefore will become very, very wanted people uh, when it comes to them. So, so this right. curriculum which we are following in the University of West London, which are same uh, curriculum as they do in London, your students okay. in London, yes. how this curriculum actually uh, make our students in India a global edu edu hospitality uh, professional? Because uh, so what all you have got in this curriculum that really put on that skills onto them? Well, I think the one thing, and, and, and we see it here, um, is, is the actual practical side is, is beyond compare, yes? But of course, it's the business side. You know, business is business nowadays. It's not just opening a small hotel and having people in there. Sure. And so it's the management, it's the business side. It's not just, it's the, you know, whether it's accountancy or marketing or the food and beverage strategies or whatever, and all the, all the topics that we do. Um, but it's important to really have a grip on all that side of things. You can't just go and think, I want a nice restaurant. Um, you need to be able to run it to be successful as a business. So just to take a cue from what he, she says and the module which you, you are teaching, you and others, your, your, your colleagues. I mean, so we are focusing more on the business of hospitality, right? Or rather, if I can put in the business of global hospitality. I think we are because we're we're giving the, the certainly this semester, which is uh, the sort of management skills. The students next semester will start looking at strategy, and that the modules are are entitled to strategic management. So I think we're giving the students building on their skills that they've acquired in the past few years in terms of operations. We're now moving them towards management, and we're moving them to have whether it's here or to be problem solvers. They want students to have analytical skills. And, and, you know, as they move through their curriculum, as they move through, through their studies, the first, second, and third year, they're very different people when they come out. And they, all of a sudden, they, can, they see problems in a very, very different way. And I think that's what we can give them. Um, and also the, the global awareness and the events that you do here at IHM are, are beyond anything that we could do yes. at UWL in terms of global awareness with Young Chef and bringing people together yeah, and cultures. Yeah. And, and for that, we're, we're very thankful to be here. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, again, the global education uh, management inputs and business angle and the strategic management and other soft skills, of course, as you mentioned. So, you feel that all these skills together makes our students in IIHM more employable, right, for a global recruiter's point of view? I, I definitely do. I, do I, I definitely think it gives them an added value. Uh, compared to other, you know, institutions here and, and, and abroad, because they will have that experience. They will have, you know, much more than, than other students that perhaps have not been exposed to things globally. And as Antoinette was mentioning, some of your students go and do their placement abroad um, and then go work abroad. And, and when I was asking the students yesterday during induction how many students wanted to go work abroad, I think I had out of 100, perhaps three, whose hands did not go up. <laughs> yes. So everyone is very, very keen. And, and, um, and, and I think India as well has, has a culture of hospitability, uh, which can then be exported um, with the IHM banner flying high. Thank you so much, Anne. That's been lovely. So, so uh, I, I li like uh, all of uh, both of you to say uh, just your message to our new students who would be in the third year in two years from now, and you'll be seeing a lot of them, uh, we're seeing a lot of them in the food festival happening outside this door. And so uh, so what would be your message for as, as an academic collaborator 
global um, academic collaborator and they have taken admission here to do an international degree from University of West London. So to the new students of IHM, a small message from both of you. I think you have to study hard and you also have to play hard. Yeah, it's not all about studying, but I think it's about understanding that, you know, for a few months, what they're going to gain from their degree here, the UWL degree, and of course the IHM degree, is something that they, they will remember in the future, in five years, ten years. Uh, and, and I think it's very, you know, exciting for them. So they have to work hard, but they will learn a lot, and what will they will be able to reap the benefits of the degree, I think. Uh, perhaps they don't see that yet, but they will. <laughs> and, then, yeah, and then they'll move forward and they can hear it perhaps from their seniors in the other campuses that we've been collaborating with for the past four years and see where these students are. Um, and we're fully expecting to see IHM students uh, managers in a very, very short time. Well, as I say to many of the students, it is only 28 weeks. <laughs> but I know 28 weeks when you're that age seems very a long time, but when you look back later on, I promise you it's not that long. And if they can just put that 28 weeks focusing on their studying as well as um, obviously having fun and not getting too distracted with all the wonderful events you have, particularly this semester when I know you um, celebrate Diwali and all sorts of lovely things. But uh, you know, the, if you can just focus that and be successful and, and Please, you know, don't get stressed about it. Just, it is just 28 weeks of some little bit of hard study, a little bit different perhaps than what you've been used to in year one and two, but at the same time, a lot of help and support with, with, with us all working together because we want to see all this time next year graduating. Thank you very much. Um, and it's been lovely speaking to you. And uh, I'm sure that with the IHM UWL collaboration, the students getting a double degree, the students getting an international degree, and the IHM platform, I'm sure it's the best combination that you can give anywhere.